G'day guys, it's Farmer J, and welcome back to Dairy Air Farms. Um, sadly, I'm going to continue the conversation today on the horrible pallet limit that Giants has imposed on the game. But more specifically, the topic today is going to be what you can do as a workaround to this limit. Now, I know what you, some of you are going to say. Some of you are going to say, Jay, you already talked about options when you discussed the problem in the initial video. However, sadly, the reason I'm going to talk about it some more is, A, I'm not that big a channel yet, so I haven't reached nearly enough people. And secondly, going by the various forums and discussion groups, there is still a lot of confusion as to how you can make things work. So the first thing we're going to talk about is options for all platforms, console and PC. And then we will talk about options more specifically for PC players, because there is a mod that you can download. And we'll also talk about what happens if you've already loaded your saved game on a PC and you are missing a lot of pallets stay tuned in the video as you can see i've got a ton of pallets in this game um but stay tuned in the video if you're a pc player because i'm going to show you how to restore a save game so you can go back in time and hopefully save the pallets you lost by loading into the game before you knew what was going on Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is the production facilities themselves. And what I recommend, and this is on all platforms, I recommend you do this whether, you ha whether you've got the fix or not, because it does improve performance of the game. But what I've done with my flour warehouse, or my flour mill, and my sugar mill, is I have them both set to distributing. And as you can see, this has got 155,000 liters in it, and the grain mill or the flour mill has also 155,000 liters of flour stored in it. The reason I put that to distributing was because it would keep, as you know from the productions, it would keep my bakery fed with flour. But secondly, it would keep the flour stored until I got a decent price to sell it at. Um, now, you can obviously do that with most of your factories, or if not all of your factories or production facilities. Um, they can store a decent amount of a product. Um, the dairy, unfortunately, doesn't store that much. The oil mill. But the big ones that produce a lot of product very quickly, like the grain mill and the sugar mill and the cereal factory, have a decent amount of storage. So definitely take advantage of that. Right, so, sorry about that. Uh, the next option you have for all platforms is the pallet distribution and I believe it's pallet distribution and storage warehouse. Um, I'm gonna link to that mod. It's a cross play or cross platform mod. Hopefully, if you're playing multiplayer, your server admin has already figured out these solutions but this will work in multiplayer and on crossplay. Sorry, it's the pallet storage and logistics warehouse. Like I said, I'll link to that in the description again. It's on Mod Hub and it's crossplay compatible. The only 
only catch is what I recommend you do, it'll store, first it'll store, I believe it's 100,000 liters of any product. But what I recommend you do is you change your output mode to distributing, just like you would a factory. Um, and that way it will keep as much product as possible stored in inventory, ready for you to take it out when you need it. So, and it will also keep your other, if you're storing something like flour in it, it will keep your other production supplied at no cost. Remember, if you use a production facility, any of them, to sell a product, you are going to pay a 50, sorry, not 50, 40% delivery fee. Now, with this warehouse, you've got an input and an output. Just like you do any other factory. Uh, and be careful where you place it so you don't end up with a big lump like this. I just placed it here to show you how it works. If you don't change it from distributing, like I said, or from storing to distributing, um, like I said, what's going to happen is any product you put in, wait, let's go to the other side here. Any product you put in on this side, is gonna just pop out on the other side like it does any other storage for any other production facility. And you'll end up with a whole pile of product here, depending on what you put in first, that you may or may not want. So we put in our strawberries first. Um, I'm going to cheat a little bit in a second and I'm going to put in some olive oil using the developer mod and I'll just quickly show you I don't care I'm not going to be saving this game I'll quickly show you what happens when There's olive oil, cake, butter, cheese, fabric, clothes, sugar, honey, cereal, sunflower, canola, there we go, olive oil. So we're loading in a couple of pallets of olive oil and guess what's happening? They're all appearing on this side. We don't want that. So let's change this from olive oil for to, 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 to selling to distributing. Now the only thing catch with this warehouse and it's not a big deal at the end of the day because you're going to be using it all the time is there is a rounding error where the game rounds down instead of up so if you put in 500 liters of tomatoes it's going to register as 499. After that, for some reason, you seem to be fine. There, see, now we're putting in our olive oil and it's not appearing at the other side. To get it out, you just change, like you do any other prediction facility, you change it from distributing to storing and it will pop out and you can deliver it yourself and sell it without losing the 40% transportation fee. Okay, finally, and then if you're on a PC, and this will only work for PC, there is a mod out, it's called Pallet Fix, and I'm going to link it in uh, the description of this video. And as you can see from my farm already, um, just look at the number of pallets I have, Look at the number of honey pallets I have. It has fixed the problem and I'm back to normal storage or the normal number of pallets. Um, sadly, it is a script mod, so it won't work on console. 
like I said, your best bet on console is the first two options I offered. But, you know, and I wish you guys had script mods, but for a PC, like I said, it is a script mod and it overrides what Giants did. Um, even though Giants have said they are going to change the palette limit either back to what it originally was or somewhere in the middle down the road, um, this will give you a fix where you don't have to worry about palette storage. It is as I said a third-party mod so you have to download it from a you can't download it through the in-game mod hub you have to download it from another website like I said I'll provide the link in the description once it's installed in your mod folder you just have to remember to apply it just like you would as I said any other mod um, I can I know what a couple you're gonna say and as I said earlier we'll talk about how to restore a saved game yes Jay that's fine and dandy but I've already loaded my game up and I lost half my pallets well so did I uh, because as you can tell just from what I've shown you guys I'm well over the pallet limit um, so I had to restore a saved game and Let's go into the details of that. You have to know the saved game number of the game you're playing. And basically, you can just count which slot it's in to determine whether it's saved game 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. Now, actually, I'm going to cover two things at once here. For those of you that have never manually downloaded and installed a mod, it will appear in your downloads folder and you just need to hit copy. Then you go to your documents folder. There should be a sub folder called my games and farming simulator 22 and you go to mods and you right click and you would hit. I don't have it because I haven't got anything copied yet. But you'd right click and hit paste and it would put the mod from the downloads folder into the mod folder itself um, which is what you're going to have to do for palette fix now as far as restoring a save game goes as i said you have to remember what save game you're on so right now my elm creek game is two three it's save game four So you'll see the number, all the save games listed here, and then you go to save game backup. And I'll just zoom that back out. Um, apologize for the resolution, but, and then you look for save game backup number. And I have it set to sort by, you can sort it by date or by name. And as you can see, there's save game backup three, save game backup four, and then once you're at the right save game backup, um, look for the date which was prior to uh, your last save prior to the 19th, which was when the patch came out. So, uh, here I, I'll say that's save game three, save game, there we go, save game four, uh, backup 2022-04-06-19. Um, so it was backed up just before, the day before the patch came out. So I just lost it again. You go into that folder. Click the first item, highlight everything, right click and copy, 
and then simply you go back to save game number four and you right click and I didn't actually copy anything because I'm not keeping my save game but you'd right click and you would hit paste and when it asks you if you want to replace the existing files hit yes and it will paste your save game back up over your game that got bugged thanks to the patch um, <coughs> don't forget you can't do this while the game well the game is running so make sure you exit out of the game since I wasn't gonna do anything I'm going not gonna exit out of the game okay I hope you found this video useful um, I hope it provides you with a couple of options and I know it's a pain in the butt, but it's the best we can do till Giants puts the original uh, number of pallets back into the game. If you did find the video useful, remember to give it a like. That way it gets shared with more people and more people are aware of their options. Thanks for watching and take care, Jade.